So today we're down here at Race Club with the CV Performance E46 doing the DIY hood pin kit. Um, we'll go over what materials you'll need, what uh, drills and stuff you'll need to get everything bolted in, and we'll go over everything. So you, we off the plates, and then you have to get the, the hardware that, that bolts the plates in, and then we offer three different options. We, have, we offer the hood pins with the lanyards, we offer just the hood pins, and then we also, we off, also offer the arrow catch hood pin latches. Okay, so today with this install, the tools that are required. So you're gonna need a T30 or Torque 30, and then you're gonna need two 10 mil wrenches, and then two different drills. There was really two different drills just to run two different style step bits to, to make the hole for the hood pins. You're gonna pop your hood, and then with that, you're gonna take your torque bit off the, the wrench here. You're gonna see these three, three screws here on both sides of the hood latches. You're gonna remove those three screws, and then up here at the top, you'll have two more T30s on both sides. You'll have to remove all those, and then you can get started. So after you get the the hood latches removed and from both sections, what you're gonna do is take your first step bit, and what you're gonna do is go through the middle of this hole, or right in the middle, and you're gonna drill through the body of the of the hood. So once you get the holes drilled which location you're gonna go, you'll shut the hood down so you can go through the top section. So I'm gonna start with the small one. Over to the bigger bit. go to the depth about a 9 16 on it. So that's about the size of the hole you want for the top right here. So after getting the old hood latches removed, and getting the new uh, brackets mounted in with the hardware and the hood pin mounted. So, and then we already have the holes pre-drilled through the hood. So we're gonna do, we're going to shut the hood. So, I'm gonna bring you over to the latches that we chose to do with the install, this install. We chose to go with the arrow catch latches. So this is how they come out of the box directly. They're gonna be mounted correctly so what we like to do is flip the bracket upside down. And the reason we do this, because it makes it a lot easier when you go to mark where you want your lines at. So what with, with this install, we're gonna go ahead and set this plate down. So we're gonna set the, we're gonna try to mount the plate with the body line. That's what we're gonna follow. So when we do that, we set that up. We can pull that off. Now we have a spot to show you to trace. Where you'll need to cut out. So the next step what you can do, what I highly recommend before you start cutting, you gotta start with your safety glasses. Go ahead and put those on. And get your die grinder out. 
Preset the pin where you want it to line line up, so it sets right in there, right? And now what you're gonna do is take your marker, and with your marker, you're gonna mark your holes. where you're going to So 
once you get all six holes drilled, you see, now, now getting the lashing, or the back bracket placed. So now that we got all six holes drilled, so we're going to show you how to get the backing plate for the arrow catch lock in, into the housing. Kind of tricky, you gotta kind of slide it in. Okay, so now we got everything finished up to where we got all the hard work on it with the, with the hood latches. So now what you want to do is leave your hood pins loose so you can do the adjustments and everything where you want the height of a mat. So where they match with, with the latches in a second what I'm talking about. You want to put it down. You want these just right above the inside line here to show when it closes, it's right down the middle. Same with this. Right above that, so it closes, it's right down the middle. So this is the feature of the latches. So what you want to do is you get the DIY lace pin here. 